in so many ways, I think he said things about democracy, about American democracy at the time, that we are not part of the canon, um, especially his vision of civil society. You know, George Washington, um, I think, feared the uh, uh, associations as maybe challenges to government. Uh, Madison talked about factions and maybe so faction is a positive uh, uh, way. Uh, Tocqueville transformed that and made, created a, a theory of civil society uh, as, uh, uh, as, as a, a way for Americans to uh, exert their liberty and self-govern. He had uh, uh, warnings, of course, for uh, uh, the difficulties and the dangers of segregation and race relations. He predicted a civil war. Um, not, not the one that took place, he predicted the race war, uh, not a sectional war, but he, he nonetheless saw that would be the pitfall. Tocqueville thought very hard about um, something he called the habit of liberty. That is to say, it's great to think of freedom and, uh, as, as a right, but, but, but you, you exercise your freedom without fearing tyranny if you, have the, if, you're, if you have the habit of it, if you know how to set limits to it in order to maintain it for a long time, if you don't use your freedom to generate revolution. And that's also uh, something he came back from America with and tried to uh, use uh, to implement a, a vision of liberty in French politics that was meant to, again, generate a, why, a large conversation rather than, to, rather than overturning the uh, opposition.